I am so glad you're here. Listen, my channel is all about beauty and skincare. Uh, many things I talk about, such as like fitness, health, cooking, food, the best food, the best brands, technology and gadgets, relationships and family, uh, personal finance, investments, some of the best investments that you want to make in your life. Uh, we, we do travel, adventures, and I'm passionate about sharing my knowledge, experiences, and insights with you, okay? So, whether you're a beginner or an expert, I believe there's always something new. There's always something new to learn and discover, right? So, join me on this exciting journey, and let's grow. Let's grow together. Okay, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button, okay, and turn on notifications. You don't want to miss, you never want to miss a thing, okay? So I can't wait to connect with you and create some amazing content, okay? Now let's get into this content. So sales can be a really challenging and intimidating aspect of any type of business right some people um are naturally gifted with the ability to sell while others struggle you know to find their footing now if you're one of those people who feel like they're not good with sales don't worry you're not alone you are not alone in this blog today we're going to explore how to respond to people who say they're not good with sales and they offer some tips you know i'm going to offer some tips and tricks to help you improve your skills First and foremost, it's a beautiful day today, y'all. First and foremost, it's important to understand that everyone has their own strengths and their own weaknesses. And you know, just because you may not be a natural salesperson, that doesn't necessarily mean that you cannot become one. I hear a lot of people say I'm not good at selling. Well, with practice, patience, and perseverance, you can develop your sales skills and you can also achieve your goals. Okay, it may not happen overnight, but it is doable, it can happen. And so one of the best ways to respond to people who say they're not good with sales is just really to be honest and direct. Uh, you know, if someone tells you that they struggle with sales, um, you could actually say something like, I understand how you feel. Sales can be challenging, but it's also a valuable skill that can be learned and developed with practice right that's something you could tell them okay so write that down next offer to help you have to offer to help if someone is open if they're actually open to improving their skills offer to provide some support and guidance okay you could suggest like they read a book on sales you can attend a workshop have them attend workshops with you or even shadow you as you make sales calls they can have them listen in on how you do what you do you know, it's also very important to encourage people to be confident in themselves and their own abilities. You know, we need more of that in leadership. So you want to let them know that everyone has to start somewhere. You know, everyone starts somewhere and that with time and effort, they can actually become better at sales. I mean, we do it every day, whether we realize it or not. You know, just remind them of their own strengths and their, uh, and you know, you just basically um, encourage them to focus on their strengths when they're making, making sales. You know, here's a few additional tips to help people become better at sales, by the way. So you want to, um, first off, you want to know your product or if it's a service, you want to know the ins and outs of it because understanding your product or your service inside and out is very critical to being a successful salesperson. Okay. And you want to make sure that you're familiar with all of its features, all of the benefits and any potential challenges that may arise during a sales process or transaction, right? That's very important. And you also want to build some rapport because people are more likely to buy from someone that they actually like and trust. So you want to focus on building the rapport with your uh, potential customer by just finding some common ground. You know, it's not that hard. Just find common ground. And you have to, you do that by actively listening to their needs and showing some genuine interest in their business and what they got going on with their, whatever it is they're telling you, actively pay attention. You want to ask those questions. The best way to understand a customer's uh, needs is to ask questions. You want to ask open-ended questions, though. 
you know, because it basically helps you get a better understanding of their pain points, their goals, and their own challenges, okay? So practice, practice, practice. Like anything in life, guys, you know, the more you practice, the better you're gonna become at anything you do. You have to practice. So set aside some time each day to make some calls or to conduct some, you can even conduct some sales presentations and that's getting your practice in. However, it's important to understand that everyone can learn and improve their sales skills, okay? So acknowledge their feelings about it. You know, you don't want to just make it seem so one-sided. Let them know that you understand where they're coming from and that it's a just it's a basically a common feeling among people in sales roles, okay? And this will actually show some empathy, um, you know, it shows more empathy and creates a more relaxed atmosphere, making it easier for them to open up and discuss their, their concerns with you, okay? So again, make sure you offer your support by just simply telling them that you are there to help them. If they have any questions, they can reach out to you. You wanna provide some encouragement and also let them know that they can count on you, um, you know, for guidance and for some advice. Some partners going in. So this will help you build trust and make it easier for them to learn and improve their sales skills as well. So always acknowledge their feelings, okay? That's very important. Also, I wanna say the first step in responding to someone who says they're not good with sales is just to acknowledge it. Just acknowledge that they even feel like that, okay? And then let, just let them know that you understand, um, you know, that you were once there in that place um, and make sure that it's coming from a feeling among people, you know, that, that you can relate to from your own past experiences. Um, because this will make it feel more relaxed. It'll make it easier for them to open up and then, you know, they'll begin to, you know, become more open-minded and get on their creative side. So always, always, always offer support. And then after you acknowledge their feelings, um, just tell them, um, I don't know, y'all leave me something in the comments or some ideas, but you could tell somebody who feels like they're not good at, you know, um, being a marketer, okay? You need to make sure that you convey to them that they can count on you for guidance and advice whenever they need. Um, Cause again, you want to make sure if they're on your team, you want to have that trust there, okay? You should have some training available that helps them improve something that they can copy and paste. And you also want to encourage them to try to focus on the benefits of their products, not the features. The features, hmm, but people want to know what's in it for them. So one of the big, biggest challenges for people who do, uh, do marketing and sales is finding the right words so they could get their products out there or their service, right? So again, like I said, just encourage them to focus on the benefits of what they're selling. And rather, I think that's better than the features, okay? Because this will help them see the value in what they're selling. It'll make it easier for them to, to communicate this type of value, but you know what I'm saying, to the people that they're targeting or whatever. So let them know that you understand um, and just uh, emphasize the fact they need to know the ins and outs of the benefits of their product, okay? And um, that's it in a nutshell. So let me think of something else. Um, I'm over here in the business meeting, by the way. I had to slip away from the crowd real quick. So yeah, um, that's what a lot of leaders don't do. It's like everybody wants to make money, 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 and they're not really helping their team. You know, um, they're not really being encouraging for their team. And so a lot of people, you know, tend to leave their company or leave that business opportunity to look for that next shiny object. And that's not always good to do, okay? Uh, so I don't know. Um, I'm just looking who's on here. Hi, uh, Lisa. Who else is on here? Jess. Uh, Jasmine, Jasmine. Sorry if I said your name wrong. <laughs> Is it Jasmine? <laughs> so, anyways, y'all, back to what I was saying. Uh, basically, you want to provide lots of training. You want to provide resources that can help your team improve their sales skills. And this can actually be in the form of sales workshops. You can provide them with some online courses, some mentorship programs. Uh, you can also give them the tools, the tools that you use for them to succeed. You can help build their confidence and make it easier for them to sell effectively. Uh, and in case you didn't know, 
marketing and sales go hand in hand, okay? And for many new marketers, the idea of selling can be really intimidating. And so that's why it's important to come in with the right approach. You wanna have the right mindset. Your mindset really matters. And anyone can learn how to share products, anybody, even a kid, you know, a 10 year old. So when you become an affiliate marketer, I just wanna make mention it's important to have a very deep um, understanding of the product or the service you're promoting. You wanna search the ins and outs of it. That, you know, and you do want to know about the features, but also the benefits. You want to know how it will solve a customer's problem. That's the main thing, okay? So you need to understand who your target audience is, basically. And so all you can do is research their needs, pain points, and buying habits to identify how your product or your service can actually meet their needs. This Doing this makes it easier for you to tailor, you know, your pitch, your approach to their specific requirements. That's basically what it does. One thing, you know, you should always start doing is, you know, you want to take the time to get your know, to know to know your customers. And so you're going to do that just by practicing active listening. Uh, you know, active listening is an essential skill for salespeople and for marketers. Um, it, it, evol it involves paying attention to your customers, to your customers' needs and responding to their concerns. I'm just walking away because this girl's staring at me like, she plan on walking up being... <laughs> Anyways, by practicing active listening, you can identify their needs and you can tailor your sales pitch around their, their needs. You know, that's what you really want to focus on. And it takes some work. You know, you got to continuously improve through self-development. I cannot stress that enough. Self-development is really important, okay? And you can also always remind yourself that one of the advantages of being a marketer is you have to, you know, is you have the freedom to plan your own business. You can schedule your own time so that you work to achieve your own goals on your own timing. That's the beauty of, of this all at the end of the day. Or you can keep slacking off, you know, wasting your time on unproductive activities, you know, chasing the next shiny object, and you'll actually fool yourself into believing that, you know, you're working and you never reach this, you actually never reach the, the, the success that you feel like you deserve. So all you need is the ability to persevere. It's basically like making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> so um, an easier way to look at selling is you're basically referring a really good quality product to someone else. So if someone is thinking about like joining your team, but they feel they're not good enough, I would zoom in on your target. Tell them to zoom in on who your target, their target audience is. It has to be one become one of their top skills, and that can also possibly take time and a lot of practice to even figure that out. It takes a lot of practice to figure out who your actual target is. You want to communicate to them the importance of trying different methods. You want to try different channels to reach more people. It's really about your reach. Okay. So again, make sure the product is really quality product. The pricing matters. Is your price too high? Is your price too low compared to your your uh, competitors? You know, some people may think they're not good enough because of their fear of rejection. You know, um, selling can involve a lot of rejection, and some people may not be comfortable with that level of rejection, which is why you got to build your emotional muscle up, your entrepreneurial muscle up. <laughs> And a lot of people who want to get involved with selling products, there's a lot of people who want to get involved with it, but if they don't feel equipped with the knowledge and the skills and the support that they need to be successful, then they may not be motivated to, to, to get involved in any of that. That's just the whole thing. So sales is really a skill that can be learned, okay? It's not something you're naturally born with. It's something that can be learned and developed with practice and dedication, okay? So if you believe that you're not good at sales, it's important to understand that this is a common belief among many, many people. However, you know, with the right mindset, like I said, training, you gotta have good training, good support system. And like I said, anyone can become a successful uh, salesperson or a network marketer. <laughs> so the key is to be persistent, be confident, and be willing to learn and grow. And don't let the fear of rejection or a lack of experience hold you back from your goals okay instead you know just go ahead and embrace the opportunity to develop your skills and become a top performer in your community 
or in your field. Just make sure you remember that sales is not just about selling a product. It's not about just that service. It's about what it's really about. It's about helping people. It's about helping people find solutions to their problems and improving their lives. That's really what it's about. So if you approach sale with this type of mindset and a desire to make a positive impact, you'll be well on your way to success. Trust me, okay? So uh, in conclusion, I'm gonna let y'all go. Responding to people who say they're not good with sales can be a delicate matter, okay? It's really important to be honest and direct and you wanna offer that support and guidance. And you also just wanna basically encourage them to focus on their strengths. With practice, with patience, and with perseverance, anyone can become a successful marketer, okay? And a salesperson. So, again, um, in the meantime, uh, make sure, okay, so I'm about to go. Invest in yourself. If you got value, leave a like and share this post. If this video gave you some type of value, come about to get off this. Send me a message or leave a comment and I will respond to you within 24 to 72 hours, okay? Now, if you wanna make money, I, I advise you to take action now and join our winning team, okay? Stop waiting, stop watching. With our supportive community and the limitless potential for success, there's, there's no better time to start than now, right? So don't let opportunity pass you by, okay? So um, I'm about to get off this. Click the link, okay? Join us in reaching new heights and realizing your full potential. These people are getting on my nerves. I gotta go, y'all. Let's make it happen together. This is not crypto. This is instant payouts. This is instant 100% commissions, okay? So um, that's what we're a part of. You should join us. Um, join the journey and never miss a beat, okay? <laughs> So, for a front row seat to all the exciting content, exclusive updates, and thrilling adventures, let's grow. Y'all, let's grow together. It's 2023. Let's grow together and make lasting memories, y'all. So, um, that's it for now, you guys. I got to get off this. Thanks for watching uh, my video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like below. Um, with, with, with your thoughts or if you have something to add to what you can say to someone who doesn't believe they're good enough. Okay, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all our future content. And I'm about to let y'all go right now. Go back to my meeting. This is Candrea Fion signing off. Until next time, take care and stay awesome. Bye.